Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Pedition Law Sector. I'm obviously doing it on Legends, so we're going to have all sorts of champions and modifiers and what have you. Now, this is all three characters. I'm starting with the, the Hunter. I'm only going to commentate the Hunter run because the other three runs, you'll be able to take the information from the first run and apply it to the, the Titan and the Warlock. Now, the modifiers, you've got three modifiers on these Law Sectors. There's a planetary one, an enemy type, and a burn. So the planetary type is basically arc and aerial damage is increased. The enemy type is Vex, so Vex Goblins drop pull of Radiolarian on the floor, and it's Void Burn, 50%, I believe. So, that's the run, that's that's the character, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Night Stalker, I'm probably going to go with Void on each character, I'm going to be using the same weapons on each character. So, as I say, with this explanation, you can apply this knowledge to the other characters, rather than having me chatter on through all three videos so night watch obviously for the overload champions and it's you should try it in crucible it's really good that really helps does a lot of damage to them i'm using the pedition that the, the gn7 i'm not using the pedition i'm using the gn7 because there's a lot of harpies a lot of arc shields this is really good for it uh, I'm also using the Anarchy. I don't really have too much problem using the Anarchy because now there's a predictable way to get it and I think a lot of people got it last season and it's really good for DPS on just about any boss with just about any burn. So that's what I'm going to be using. I've got mods to support that as well. I've got Grenade Launcher Scavenger and Grenade Launcher Finder. Uh, on your Gauntlets now is where you put your, your Champion mods which is great. So as you can see I've got Grenade, grenade Launcher Finder on the helmet. Uh, unstoppable round, Scout Rifle Unstoppable and Anti-Barrier for the Pulse Rifle. Uh, grenade Launcher Reserves. You can't beat that. Why wouldn't you have it on? We don't need any of the others because it's primary and you'll drop that like snow. And that that's kind of the main things. The other thing I would say, as you can see here, I forgot to put Shield Break Charge on. Now, I have High Energy Fire, so you want Shield Break Charge. Every time you break a shield then you get high energy fire. So that's a really good really good to synergize with those things. And last but not least, uh, as you can see, I've got the mod on where you get the grenade back every time you stop a champion. So that's it for the setup, guys. On to the run, and I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to be doing a lot of this from range. What you'll notice is there's quite a few harpies, quite a few arc sh shields. I think there's two minotaurs with void shields but the rest of the marks so i'm just dropping some anarchy just to help me out but the main threat immediately i'm gonna as you can see i could put two anarchy straight on it is that hydra so i've got anti-barrier so i'm gonna put some on it but the great thing you'll see it pop up on the screen the great thing is you put the anarchy on it and it will kill the minotaur because it, uh, it will kill the the hydra even when the hydra teleports so once you've took all those enemies out you're gonna get three waves so you've had a wave this is the second wave, so I've just put a triangle of, of anarchy down, and I'm backing away because sometimes you get the next wave. If you kill this wave too quickly, the next wave just comes straight on top of you, and there's a overload minotaur. Don't really want to be dealing with him close range, so we're just going up here to get the last wave to to to, to spawn. As you can see, I'm just dropping another triangle of triangle of uh, anarchy. And then I'm moving away because, like I said, most of our best work is going to be done from range. So in this wave, you've got an overload. You've got two snipers. You can see I've took one of them down. There's the other one. And obviously, you've got these arc shielded harpies. So I'm not really wanting to get too close when there's ranged void. And nearly everything does void in this, by the way. So you really do want to keep your distance as much as possible. So we've got one harpy and the minotaur left up. So the idea is we'll take out we'll take out this harpy, and then we're gonna want the minotaur to start moving a little bit. Now, if you've got the anarchy and you're wanting to do exactly what I'm doing, the middle line on the anarchy is what you want to have on your enemy. If you've got the middle line, you'll hit whatever you're firing at. Sometimes you might notice yourself that you're firing the anarchy and you're missing. That's why. So. As you can see, that, that scout rifle is so good. Pick up heavy. I've got grenade launcher, finder, and scavenger. So I'm not really going to be bothered too much with uh, heavy. This part here is by far the trickiest part. So I do this in two stages. 
I take out as many of these goblins safely from the top of these stairs as I can. Obviously, because I don't want to be attacked by anything that shouldn't void and can kill me. And as you can see, we've got an overload. So again, exactly the same way, but I'm going to try and head glitch him from here because of this. You can get encroached by other enemies. The scout rifle really does kill uh, enemies and stop him pretty quickly. So, you know, the exact same setup I'm using here, I'll use for the other two runs. So just come up here to get a bit of ammo, get this next wave to spawn. Now there will be a minotaur here. Uh, there are two more enemy. There are two more uh, champions, as you can see. I nearly got caught out there because I was looking for him. I was looking for that minotaur. If you get hit like that and you get out of there, don't re-engage too quickly. I'm just trying to get him to move into positions where not so good for him, good for me. Bef because I know there's more enemies up. So here we go. I'm just gonna put put that uh, put that grenade down for him to just run through because it's void. Just melts him. Now the most dangerous enemies in this are coming. Now most people know them. Most people call them like t there's tons of names for them, but the the wyverns, the, those uh, hybrid, they're they're basically hybrid harpy minotaurs, walking harpies. They their attack, especially their attack anyway, is really strong. But on a void burn, so what we want is we want to entice them out. Now, as you can see, I've put a couple on that barrier. Now, I'm not going to kill the barrier. I'm only... I'm only trying to bring those Wyverns out. So, I'll put another couple on them. You see these barriers up. I'm just trying to stun them and stop them from firing at me. So that I can get the, get these Wyverns out. And you can see I got hit a couple of times. I think the Wyverns actually surprised me a little bit. There they are. So I dodge, go and viz, and then get out of there. Now the way we're going to deal with these wy wyverns is what we're going to do is we're going to stick them with two anarchy. And then just, what we do is if we move away, once we've stuck them, they'll just wander about. Those two anarchy will kill the wyvern. There we go. And there's one more, and then it's two barriers. And then pretty much that's all she wrote. There's the next one. We've managed to stick them. You can see the numbers. Another great thing about the anarchy is you get to see the numbers. If anybody doesn't have it, just doing raids now, you can earn Spoils of War and you can go and buy it from the kiosk. That's why I have no problem with, with using this. So, again, these are pretty tricky as well because they're doing a big bit of void. So, there we go. I just put two on. I just want them to bring get your shield up so I can stun them. And then I can put one right on them. That should kill them. And there's one more up top. Just take care of any kind of stragglers. See, the one that was up top jumped down. He normally stays up top. Now, as you can see, I went and vis there because I was going to go after the the barrier. But uh, there was still another enemy up. You just want him to put his shield up. And I'm just dodging in and out because he's firing at me. But it's cool because he's in trouble now. I can get my health back. He's got two anarchy on him. He shouldn't be able to reshield. I've built my super up. So Oh, he's got his shield back up. I've built my shield but I've built my super up because the super's gonna take care of the boss room for us almost single handedly. So as you can see, I'm gonna put my super right in the centre. I'm gonna wait for the boss. Boss will spawn at the back. Two anarchy on him, which just changed that damage from the the, the, the super. Just clears as much as possible. You can see there, it's still going. I think the bot I think the two the original two anarchy kills the boss. And it spreads any damage to anything that got captured, and you just clean up the rest of the ads. That is That's the run. Uh very simple. Six six seven minute run. Very simple run. As you can as as I've said, I'm gonna use the same weapons, roughly the same strategy for this on the other two characters so because i've explained the rooms and what i'm trying to do it'll be the same for the warlock and the titan so i hope this run helps you guys if it does a like on the video is always appreciated take it easy guys and i will speak to you in the next video